My name's Kevin Dixon, uh, and back in the 1620s, Tor Bay was the haunt of the notorious pirate John Nutt. We first hear of John, who was born in Limpston, a little bit further up the coast, uh, in around 1620, when he was uh, active off the coast of Newfoundland. Uh, he went there as a, as a normal mariner, but while he was there, he decided to turn pirate, and he captured three ships uh, off the coast of Newfoundland. He then developed a, a little bit of a reputation as a pirate, but he also protected uh, the, some of the colonies off the Newfoundland coast, and that's a story I'll, I'll come on to a little bit later. Uh, John Nutt then relocated to Tor Bay, where he set up a pirate base. And we know this because of, of all the concerns that, uh, that were actually coming in. And at one time, he became so powerful, he was taking uh, anything up to 12 ships a week uh, from the sort of South Devon coast. Uh, this became such a problem uh, that the, the local authorities uh, instructed the Royal Navy to do what they actually could to try and uh, suppress John, but he, he was very powerful. One of the things about being a pirate, Oz, is that um, the more uh, ships that you take, the richer you got, the more bribes you could actually offer, uh, the better ships you could, um, uh, you could buy. Uh, and also you could start uh, recruiting other sailors, some really skilled mariners. And uh, he actually even managed to attract uh, some sailors uh, from the Royal Navy. So he was a very powerful man. Uh, in response, the government uh, instructed John Elliot, the vice, uh, the, um, the vice admiral of Devon, to, uh, to actually apprehend John Nutt. Uh, he realised he couldn't do it directly. Uh, John Nutt was just too powerful. So uh, what the ad uh, vice admiral did was he came up from Dartmouth and he approached uh, John Elliot. Um, sorry, John Nutt. John Elliot approached John Nutt in Tor Bay, and he actually found John Nutt there with a captured Colchester uh, vessel, which was full of some really, really sort of um, uh, expensive goods that he, he just uh, uh, just um, appropriated. There was a little bit of a ruse there. This is where history gets a little bit more complicated. It looks as though John Elliot, the vice admiral, approached John Nutt and said, "Look, uh, here's here's a pardon." Um, You've always been after a pardon, so here's the pardon, sign it. So they, they signed this, this document over a, uh, a bottle of wine, and we've got a little bit of a description of this. However, it was a ruse. That pardon, although it had been uh, offered, was actually out of date. The offer then was that uh, John Nutt would surrender his own ship, along with this valuable Colchester vessel, sail it over to Dartmouth uh, in, in uh, return for this pardon. However, he was betrayed. Uh, he was immediately arrested. The word got out that all his crew, up to about 100 uh, sailors, were actually going to be imprisoned or drafted into the Royal Navy. However, this then got uh, back to the government and there was an enormous row over this. Um, John Elliot was actually imprisoned in a reversal of fate because it seen as a bit of a betrayal. And this is where the previous connections we actually had, uh, that John Nutt had, with his friends over in Newfoundland, where he'd done a lot of, uh, lot of favours over there, paid off. And so uh, John Nutt the pirate got his pardon. John Elliot, the vice admiral, was imprisoned in Marshall Sea, which was a really sort of uh, unpleasant place to be. Uh, the next thing we hear about uh, John Nutt is he goes back to piracy and he joins up with some Barbary pirates in the Bristol Channel. Then everything goes quiet. We, we don't know what happened to John Nutt. We don't know where, where he um, ended up. What may have happened is that he went back to Torbay, but we'll never know. Torbay was that pirate base. He made lots of friends here. He had family on shore. And because he was doing lots of favours and producing all of these, uh, these goods, which he was selling on cheaply, he had lots of friends here. And I like to think that he'd come back to Torbay. And he is John Nutt, the Torbay pirate. Would we know why he picked this area? It looks like John Nutt picked this area uh, just because it's, it's a wonderful wide bay. Um, and so you, uh, it's, it was quite a long way from the sort of big Royal Navy bases. So a long way from Plymouth, quite a long way from a little bit of around the, the coast from Dartmouth. Uh, it's um, enclosed, there's a lot of space here, and they had lots of friends locally. So you had these local seafaring communities, you know, Brixham, Paynton, not so much Torquay because it was still too small. Um, but he was welcomed and he was supported and this is where his, uh, his family was, at, was based. Thank you very much.